So I was having a not so inspired day yesterday and um, I spent a good portion of it on Pinterest just going around and around. And I just like this one thing that I saw, which just, it was really just circles and I'm figuring when to draw them in like maybe pastel or something. I don't know. But to start, I'm going to gesso this whole thing. So I'm gonna go in with my big old thing of gesso with my dirty water, which I probably should have cleaned, but that's okay. My brush might not be clean, so I might have a little extra something on my gesso. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gesso this whole thing, and then I'll come back and I'll start putting layers of kind of stuff on there. All right, bye back. All right, so I have this envision, or envision, I have this vision for something gray, and I'm not sure how it's gonna work in, but I do wanna add a little bit of this yellow, this fun on tone. This is that Seven Gypsies tape, really like it. But it's got like a sticker backing, so when you use it, you have to peel off what you need. Pull the sticker backing off. Now that I've got that on there, I'm going to put a little white wash of that gesso back over it. I've got a lot on my brush, but I might need a little bit more. Really don't want it thick, really kind of a thin dullet in there. I, I guess too, I'm thinking that I want this to look like it was encaustic wax, like it's layered into a lot of transparent layers. I don't know. It's early in the morning. I shouldn't be having in-depth conversations like this. All right, so what I have here is neutral gray paint. It only comes in heavy body, but I have it watered down in one of the little needle tip applicators here. Oh, and just throw it anywhere. So I'm thinking I want to put a wash to gray, so why use something else for already got a wash created in here. So let's see what it looks like. It should kind of just look dirty. And I've got so white on my brush, so that I'll mix with it and dull it down. Alright, so I'm back at the white washing. I did the gray, and now I'm going to take a little bit of that white, kind of go back in over it. This might seem silly, but I really do want it to look like there's layers and layers and layers and layers and things are embedded in the background. Now the piece that inspired me had these like wonky circles on there drawn in like black and I could use charcoal but I'm thinking I might use these pastel pencils and I've got a black one and a gray one. I'm going to start with the gray and if the gray isn't enough I'm going to go over it with the black. Now it's just kind of like I just, yeah I'm just winging this by the way. I think the black is what I'm going to want. Yeah. Just like random. Yeah, that's all they were. They were different sizes. And the wonkinesses. this far and that's all I had. I just want to see what happens to this when I spritz it. I don't think it's going to bleed, but if it does, I'm going to be a happy camper. <laughs> happy. Not too much bleeding, but just enough. Oh, can it, will it drip? It will drip. It's not really like bleeding too. It's like particles sloughing off. Does that make sense? I bet I could hit it with a little bit more force. Frightened. Oh, yeah. There you go. I kind of want that bleedage, that staining, to migrate across the page. I don't know why, though. Like, there's not a good reason why I want to do it. All right, dried it, and now I'm going to go over with a little bit of a whitewash. Ooh, it bleeds more. Ooh, do I like that or do I not like that? I'm thinking... Not, but I guess we just gotta go with it, right? Let's see what I can make from that. That's ending quite badly, huh? I need like a 
Well, I guess I don't have any more rags. I might need to make, I might have to do it with a tissue, but that's all I got. Okay, so, how oh, that works. It works, it's not pretty, but it works. All right, well, that kind of works. That, that worked, that worked. Um, yeah, I'm gonna dry that and see what I wanna do when I come back. So this might, um, let's see if I can follow through on this, but I think I'm gonna color in those circles and I've got four colors here. So I've got cobalt blue and I've got, what's this one? Cobalt turquoise, not cobalt teal. And then I have ultramarine violet. Yep, ultramarine violet. And then this is Indian yellow hue. So yeah, not one of those is cobalt teal. Just want you to know, wanna make note. what I'm doing now because this is nowhere near what I had envisioned but I'm thinking palette knife and some white paint why not right just since I made a mess on my table there with the white paint why not use it see if I can get as much as I can up all right I'm feeling I'm feeling words here that's what I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with a Kurt Vonnegut quote, and uh, I'm going to write it in the pastel pencil, and I'm hoping that it stays sharp, but I may have to sharpen it. Let's see, will this sharpener work for that? I'm thinking it might. It's the first time I'm using that. So that's kind of cool. The pencil sharpener for the Faber-Castell stuff opens like that. How cool is that? Oh, I like that. So I'm going to write. No matter how well or badly is a way to make your soul grow so do it by Kurt Vonnegut and I'm gonna spray it with my Spectra Fix because this is pastel it should keep it without bleeding so I don't really want that to bleed and I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll be back to put some layers on top of it now what that's basically what I'm thinking right now now what I'll come back hopefully with an idea all right, so my idea is let's just wash it. It's in my face, in the foreground. Let's wash over it and see if I can't put it in the background. Um, hopefully that spray fixative will hold this so that it doesn't bleed. And I'm gonna water down that paint. See if I can't make a nice juicy wash over the top. Well, it's still bleeding. So let's see, I'm gonna go back to my tissues. All right, so now what? All right, well, at least that's something else. I'm not sure what I want. I might want drippage. I don't know. I'll be back. Dare I say more circles? Sure. Why not some more circles? I kind of feel like I have to 
the same thing to them that I did to the other ones. So uh, I'm putting my brush off. Oh, that made a mess. Look at how pretty that is. Ew. It would be safe to say that this journal page is taking on a nasty turn. Let's see, have a knife maybe. How about we just leave it like that and walk right away. You know, I'm gonna dry this. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I really don't like this. Okay. I wanna preface this by saying you are so not allowed to see the stencil that I have right here on this camera right now, but I'm using it because I feel like it. So yeah, this might be a stencil that might be coming out with Prima, might be coming out in summer. Just saying. Could be. And I call it potholes. Not that I would have a name for it because that would be silly. And this is what I'm doing. I'm covering this whole damn thing up. Not that you see this, because clearly you don't. Pulled up a chair because I just kind of feeling like now I'm going to go with the circles all in because I like the potholes. They kind of match my little potholes. So I'm taking the gray. I want to start over here. Do I want to start over here? I want to start over here. And I just feel like going like this. Around my potholes. Now that I'm just going crazy with whatever I'm doing, I have a little gouache paint here. This is the Karen Dash sets. They look like this. And uh, I've got the gray. And I'm wetting it. I'm going to go to Reservoir here of Water too. I want to really, this is what I'm doing. I want to really, really water down kind of gray. And I want to go around the outside of some of these just to make them kind of scuffy. Is it a word? Scuffy? Can I just make a board? is where it stands. It's got potholes all over it and I like it a lot better, but it's not done. So now I'm just going to stare at it and figure out what the heck I have to do to finish it. But I will tell you that I hated what I was doing before and I kind of like, I don't know if you can see the text kind of coming through. That's kind of cool. Who cares if you can't read? I know it's there. And uh, little bits of stuff over here coming through. There really wasn't anything solid going on. So the circles with the shading make it look dimensional. So that's what I've got and it's not done, but I'm still working on it. All right, so now I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna put some texture inside some of those circles. And the only way I know how to do that is to kind of put the stencil back where it was as best I can. 
and then kind of put the stencil over and we'll see if I can't get just stuff in there. Now I have a spray bottle, just a random cheapy spray bottle with black paint and water. Make my own spray paint here. We'll see what that ends up looking like. It looks like weird. It didn't actually center, which is okay. Um, but I like it. So maybe I'll try another one. All right, so I got some of that on both sides. And um, I think I'm kind of getting close to the end here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish this up. I'm not really sure about anything today, am I? Um, gonna go look through some things. I, 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 I think I'm almost done. Um, but I'll be back. So I've got my Art and Possibility stamps out. I'm thinking, what if I just put some of those in the circles? Um, I've got Dove Gray Stays on here, which is just a little bit more subtle than this. Too subtle? Maybe too subtle. Maybe it's not too subtle. So let me see. missing drippage clearly it could be so I'm just who cares right I'm just going for it all right well I with those black circles I'm done is this my favorite page? Not even close to being my favorite page, but you know what? It is what it is. It kind of has lots of layers. And I gave my large pothole a butt crack. So fabulous. Um, I am, I painted a little bit on a black tag here and I'm going to stamp the date, which is May 30th. Of course, you don't know what year it is, but I will just put that all in a bubble. And I'm going to tear that and I kind of had the idea that I'd tear across the paint, and it's still a little wet, so, yeah. And I'm going to put that there. Tiny attach that sucker. If I can close my drawer back with all this stuff popping out of it. Oh, I have to clean my drawers. And, uh, one, two, three, type A. Oh, look, smudged all over. Fantastic. All right, that is it for today. I um, I have to go run now because I've got to get my hair cut. And um, this will be up later today. And I followed it through. I'm happy. I'm happy actually the quotes underneath there. Um, I didn't do any cobalt teal. I did have a couple circles on here. Um, and I, I like that. I like that. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop babbling. Got to get my hair cut so I can take the hat off. Peace out.